Hey guys, um, it's me again, Nelly. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support on my YouTube channel thus far. Uh, the likes and the subscribers, I really appreciate um, you guys following along and liking what I'm posting. Um, like always, please like and subscribe after this video. I'll add a little button somewhere in the box uh, for you guys to click on. Today we're going to go over uh, delts. So we're going to work the front of the delt and the back of the delt. We're going to go over some things that I do at the gym just on kind of like a weekly basis. We're going to use battle ropes, um, easy bars, and some resistance bands. And then we're going to finish it off with abs because I love to do abs at the end of the workout. Just a quick note, some of the people love to do abs at the beginning of the workout simply because a lot of people just get too tired and they're like, oh, I'll do abs tomorrow. And the next day, the same thing, oh, I'll do abs tomorrow. And it ends up kind of being like a simultaneous thing where you never do abs. So uh, if you're one of those people, do them at the beginning. I like to do them at the end because I like doing abs. So anyways, guys, come along and follow me. So I'm in trend today with my Coachella look here with the fanny packs, right? Go get yourself one. Um, so we're moving on to, well, we're, this is our first thing, so we're not moving on to anything. We're actually starting with this. So this is uh, going to be kind of a, a deltoid thing that I do. It's more of the front deltoids, right? So to get that nice little tightness here, so we're going to use the resistance band. Now you could just stick with the resistance band and not use the weights, um, or you can do both. I'm going to show you the resistance band, and then I'm going to show you the resistance band with the weights, right? So I'm just going to start off with the resistance band. So what I first do is I start low, bent over, right? Like I'm doing a fly, but I'm just going to he go here and push. So I'm pushing against uh, the resistance band to start firing the top of my shoulder, right? And my delts. I'm pushing, pushing, pushing. You can go fast and pulse it, or you can go slow and isolate it. Then I'm gonna raise up and I'm gonna go here. And then I'm gonna pulse. And then I'm gonna switch my arms here, front, and just move it, right? So you can do a couple of those to kind of warm up. Or if you're just doing those um, without the weights, you can do about five sets of 15. Or you can put a timer on for yourself. Right, so I'm just gonna start here. Just like I said before, like I'm doing a fly, so I'm gonna push against the resistance here, and I'm going to pulse it. Nice burn. And then I'm gonna move up, and I'm gonna go here. Right. Switching to the front now, here. Five, and then I'm switching to the front of the rear, right? front of the rear. Time out, front deltoid. Not front of the rear, that doesn't make any sense. Right? Just kidding. On to the next one. So, we're going to use a easy bar. So, at your gym, you could have easy bars that look like this with the curves, or you can have easy bars that are straight. No weight at first. I'm gonna raise. Raise it up. Raise that roof. <sighs> now you can add weight here. Pick it up. And same thing. How are we going to do the rear delt? Uh, you're going to act like you're putting on your pants or you're about to sit down to a cozy meal. All right? So you're going to go here. You're going to pull it up. And you're just going to push it away from you. Try not to hit your booty. Now we're going to do the front of the delt, but we're going to do it 
single arm and then raise both at the same time. So without the resistance band, we're gonna go push here, push here, raise. Push here, push here, raise. Just like this, you can do five sets of 15. So the last of the front delts, basically, I'm sure you've seen people do these, like I mentioned before. Uh, you just take a plate, this is 25 pounds. You can go heavier or lighter, however you see yourself um, doing this movement, if you're, it just depends on your strength. Um, a lot of people do these standing up, I don't. Uh, simply because a lot of people use a lot of their momentum to get it up, so they're really using more so their hips and their momentum to raise up the dumbbell plate and not strictly their front delts. So I like to do this sitting down. I'm gonna hold the plate, you can hold it here. Um, some people hold it here. I'm gonna hold it here today, um, just for kicks. Uh, I like to lean back just a little bit. Another tip is you can sit on an incline bench and use that as well. I like to lean back just a little bit. I'm gonna take my plate here, hold it out, and I'm gonna raise. Just like that, because if you noticed, none of my body is moving, right? It's only this part of my shoulder. So a lot of people just really use all that momentum, so I don't wanna do that. If you need to lose a lighter weight, please do. Otherwise, you can just use the 25 pounds, like me, 35, 45. Um, if you do 100, please tag me in something so I can watch that, because I'd be impressed. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to the thing that I like to do last, uh, the battle rope. This is really a good thing for a burnout. Um, especially on your arms. Let's say you have a vacation coming up. Uh, you have an important date um, or you just want your arms to look really toned for in the summer. I love to do these uh, at the very end, like I said. I like to do these about three times a week, especially if you are trying to have a vacation or anything like that, really. So it can really tone up your arms uh, very well. So I'd like to do them together, like the typical battle ropes that you see. I like to do them snake, which I'll show you. And then I like to do them right, left, right, left, right, left. Um, I also like to do single arm battle rope uh, flicks. And then I'm gonna show you, um, when we move on to the ab part, what I love to do for uh, the abs. So first I'm gonna show you those three movements I just explained. Um, and you can do these, like I said, you can do these for about five minutes um, at the end of your workout. It doesn't really matter how many you do of each, just uh, kind of put the, t the clock timer on for five minutes. And I do the circuit of three over and over again. So here we go. So I'm going to do the right, left, right, left. So you wanna keep your booty super low and you wanna keep your arms moving very fast. So I'm not out here, right? I'm really close to my body. Super, super close. And then I'm gonna go the regular battle ropes, which is a slam. And then I'm gonna to move to the snake. Really low. Oh, and then I'm gonna to move to <laughs> the single arm battle rope. So I like to use the knee that's up with the arm that's flicking. So I'm gonna be here, flick, flick, flick. And you can do it on the other side as well. like to just do body weight or light toning. Um, usually when you lift heavy weight on your obliques, you're gonna grow that muscle. So I don't like to be wider. Um, I like to just tone down. If you want to grow the side of your obliques, I would recommend using weight. Um, if you aren't looking to grow the side of your obliques, you just wanna tone it and get that nice uh, taper shape. I would recommend doing body weights or toning. So I would like to do a lot of these because um, it is basically just a lighter weight. And yeah, so it just tones very well. I'm gonna show you the obliques next, okay? Guys, to finish off this stuff, I'm 
going to do abs. At the end of every workout, I like to do about four ab movements. I basically do about 20 reps each of those four ab movements. Um, I'm going to take you through uh, leg raises right here. Um, we're going to do ab pull downs on the cable machine. I'm sure you've seen those. We're going to do uh, lower abs in and out with the resistance band over on the bars over there. And then we're going to hold a low plank at the very end. I like to do that for failure. You can add body weight if you want to. If not, you can just do body. You can add weight. Sorry. You can add weight. If not, you can do body weight. Okay. So I'm not going to talk, I'm just going to show you guys and then you can kind of do it on your own, however you like. Uh, just make sure to keep that muscle isolated and to really squeeze. Like orange juice. Okay. Uh, delts and some abs. Uh, I hope it was an informative video for you. Uh, I really like doing this stuff. If you have any suggestions on other things you'd like to see from me, please comment below. Uh, like always, please like and subscribe. And uh, thank you again for uh, all your support. Till then. Okay. Rundown of some of the things I do do. I always like to do. <laughs> do do. I like to do four. Movement for um, myself. No, let's just start that over. So I'm just gonna. Okay. To do a couple more things with the abs, and then we will finish. And I'm awkward right now. Okay. Sure, I'll just say the end of it right here. Ready? Yep. Ha. Hi guys, thanks. And use that as well. So you can kind of spread your legs. Well, that doesn't sound good. Start over. Um, you can use an... Okay, now we're gonna do the rear delt, right? So you're gonna act like you're putting on your pants. You don't have to yell. Oh. Oh, I gotta say the Coachella joke again. Coachella guy. Oh, you're not focused yet. <laughs>